In this problem, we're fencing a rectangular garden, but there's only three sides. And we have 140 feet of fence. The four sides a river and does not require fencing. We want to maximize the area. Now, if we're making a, a rectangle and we have four sides that we have to fence, a square is the best. But that's not true if you're only fencing three sides. Purpose of the problem, the width will be the smaller dimension, which needs two sides. So we're going to have a river. Our garden has three sides to it. We could give these different names. I could go X, X, Y. And... All right, we can relate X and Y. So if we label it like this, if we add X plus X plus Y, we get 140. That's how much feet of fence we have if we add all three sides together. And I'm gonna write that as 2X plus Y is 140. We can solve for Y. Y is 140 minus 2X. So now we have the three sides with uh, just X, so we don't need to use Y anymore. We just have to pick a good X. All right, largest possible area. All right, how in the world do we find the area? Well, good news is the formula is pretty easy. It's length times width or width times height. In our case, X times Y. So for us, y was 140 minus 2x. Now this is a function of x, so I'm gonna call it f of x, and distributing the x in, we have 140x minus 2x squared. Usually we put our x squared first. Negative 2x squared plus 140x. All right, sad parabola. And what we want to do, and the sad parabola represents the area. We want to maximize it, so we want the maximum value of this parabola. Good news is, any quadratic, if it's sad, the maximum is the vertex. And remember, the vertex is negative b over 2a, f of negative b over 2a. So we just need negative b over 2a. So here is our quadratic. There is no c, so I'm just going to write a plus 0 for c so we don't forget it. Negative 2a is negative 2, b positive 140, c is 0. So our negative b over 2a is negative 140 over 2 times negative 2. So the negatives cancel, it's 140 over 4. So we can go 140 cut in half is 70. Cut that in half again, we have 35. Now this is an x value. x is 35. All right, that is one side, and you can look up here, just labeling it on the picture. We can now find y. y is written somewhere up here, top of the screen, 140 minus 2x. One forty minus two times thirty-five. One forty minus seventy is seventy. All right, so we got one side and the other side. So that's length and width. We want to be careful at which one we put where. They said one of them was a smaller one. And we'll use that information. What's the largest possible area? All right, that is the y value. Well, maybe I shouldn't say y value because we're using the maximum f value. So we computed the x that gives us the maximum value. We now just have to plug it in. Mm 
negative 2x squared plus 140x. Now I'm going to do something a little weird. I'm writing it in this form. Why? Because x is 35 and this thing, 140 minus 2x, is 70. We have that written down right all over the place over there. All right, so this is 35 times 70. I could have plugged in 35 right there. Would have been totally reasonable to do that. But I didn't. Uh, so 35 times 70, I have no idea. It's always fun to see if you remember how to do long multiplication. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 3 is 21. 1, 2, 3. No. 4, 24. Okay, 24, 50. And let's see, the, the width will be the smaller dimension. So the width is 35, the length is 70. And I just took, where was that? Somewhere, width will be the smaller dimension. So there we go.